Hello and welcome back to the Space Final Fantasy 9. I'm Sir Cooper Nut, and in the last episode, we finished up all the chakra so, um, before we get our final chakra power. And in this episode, we're going to be heading to Ibsen's castle like we were supposed to do a long time ago. And the castle is coincidentally really nearby. <laughs> so let's just go down. It's marked on your map, so even if you haven't been following me, you'll be able to find us really easily <laughs> because you can just autopilot to there if you want to do. So yeah, Ibsen's castle. Um, before we go in, I just want to show off my gear. I've basically just equipped everyone with all the gear they need. This is the party I'm going with. Garnet's learning that. Half MP with a light robe which raises holy and shadow elemental attack. Um, and she's also got her ultimate weapon on the way of Whisker which is teaching us Kyurga. Um, this, this is the dragon's hair. Her strongest weapon. Legendary spear made from the dragon king's hair. It's known as the divider of heaven. And yet its attack power is only 77 which is really poor but yeah, she's got a lot to master, so I brought Freya along, she's got a lot to master compared to the other characters. And I brought Queen along because in this area we're going to be able to learn our last blue magic spell. So, and with that I've done everyone's abilities, don't really need a show them off though, pretty self-explanatory. Nothing special in this area really, well there is something extremely special in this area, but we'll go into that in a minute. So yeah, here we go, Ibsen's Castle. Is this the old castle Hilda told us about? Looks very weird. What a strange looking place. Like it's upside down or something. That's a clue to what you got to do in here, by the way. Alright, I'll take three of you with me. The rest of you secure this spot. Hey, Zidane. What's up, Amaran? I work alone. Always have, always will. I don't know why you bother carrying dead weight all the time. <laughs> I love the way everyone's just look, quit looking back and forth between <laughs> yeah, That's great. What's your point? I'm saying working alone beats working in a team any day, and I'm going to prove it. Hilda said there's a key here to break the seal, am I right? Yeah. Let's see who finds it first. I'll be going by myself, of course. You selfish, ignorant fool! Calm down, Rusty. But, but, but. Uh, you have to let him go, no matter what you preach, uh, what I say, so you have to let him go. Okay. I don't know what you're thinking, but it's what you want. It's okay by me. Well, aren't you an agreeable fellow? Well, I'll see you later. Are you sure about this thing? No one seems to be bothered that he's got a head start. <laughs> what can I do? I can't cha change the way he thinks. Let's get going, everyone will beat Amaran at his own game. Okay, we're just going to go with the party I've already selected, so in we go. Now, the clue to this place being upside down is actually really important. It, this is a really cool area, and you'll get lots of hints throughout this your time in here about what you're supposed to do, but I'll just spoil it for you now. Um, basically, your attack is reversed in this place. The lower the damage weapon you've got on, the more damage you're going to do. So, your first weapon, your dagger for example, is going to do more damage than even the most powerful weapon in the game to the enemies here. So yeah, I'm just going to equip the name with your dagger. I'm going to keep the obelisk on her because she's really here just to learn abilities, nothing else. I'm going to give Queen as a fork. I'll leave that for you, you shouldn't be attacking, and that's really what you got to do. The music here is just spectacular. There's a hidden treasure chest here with a dagger in it. That's your first hint to what you got to do. It's like, why are they giving out all the base equipment again? That's why. And here we have Aquarius, the latest Stellazio. Let's have a little read of that. Oops. Got all the chocograph pieces, by the way. That's how you get the Mist Ocean chocograph. Aquarius arrived late. He asked everyone, who kissed Virgo? Yeah, I wish we'd find out. This is one hell of a story we've been led on one, uh, one hell of a wild goose chase. Okay. Let's head into the courtyard. And here is Kamal, that move I've been wanting to find for ages. Let's give Kamal his letter. How, a letter, Kubo? How unusual. I'm so, un I'm so happy, Kubo. Hey, Kamal, how are you, Kubo? Us Moogles and Limbo are all wondering. The same thing these days. Where the heck is Mocknet Central? No one knows, Kubo. Do you know where it is, Kamal? It's supposedly very far away, and you can't enter very easily, Kubo. I heard that you can't enter Mongol Central unless you're riding on Chocobo Koopo. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. A Koopo now, woohoo. I haven't seen any mail lately, and that's all you gotta do for the time being. 
Um, let's just check out the mock shop. I'm not sure if this thing is actually selling anything new. Oh, he's selling crappy equipment. He's selling not the um, the weakest weapons of their kind, selling the second weakest weapons of their kind. Which is actually kind of cool. I'm just going to buy a needle fork. Uh, and clay armor, we can almost do another one of them. Trade armor, do another two of them. Nisha shield, do another one of them. <laughs> I'm spending all my money again, aren't I? God, this is bad. Get another cross helm. Another power vest. Another, uh, another guy here. Okay, and I'm going to sell off some of these potions because we've got too many of them. Okay. Well, speaking of which, I actually haven't changed my equipment in, uh, or sort my equipment in a while. Okay, let's get going. Um, oh, there's a chest just over there. Cat's Claws. Weakest weapon for Amaranth. Here we have a veteran, 6,972 HP, level 44, weak to bird killer, devil killer, water magic, wind magic, and holy magic. You steal high potions, ethers, and um, phoenix pinions, I believe, from these. So yeah, um, what are we going to do here? Let's attack with you. The enemies here are really starting to, you know, pack some high HP now. I mean, look how much little damage that did. It's pathetic. There is a reason why I'm. I, this is the blue. You can learn the blue magic doom from these. I don't know if I just said that or not, but that's what we're actually planning on doing. Let's just get Freya back up. Hmm, I'll try eat it. I don't think I'm going to be able to, if I'm perfectly honest. Bit of a problem we're in now. If I can't eat, I'm just going to weaken it a thousand needles. So I think Sedane's going to kill it. Actually, let's try a mug. That might work. I could go get rid of Queen once I've learned this, actually. But I'm not going to. Okay, um, let's try eating it once more. Should manage it, to be honest. Yo, learn Doom, and that's it. Queen is blue magic, all done. 100% completed. She has mastered all her magic. And these skills mastered with Freya. Freya actually does have level up on, I believe. And these drop topazes, boost your effort power. Yeah, I do believe, um... They got... Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Yeah, so look, all blue magic's mastered now of Queen, which is just amazing. What... How did I? I don't think I ever showed off Odin, and I certainly haven't showed off Bamut. So in the next fight, I'll show off Odin since we haven't seen him yet. Get on the fucking pipe. Down we go. You can't go up. At least I don't think you can. I've never managed it. Okay, I think there might be a hidden chest down here somewhere. Nope. Okay. Blocked off by a chain. It's just so unrealistic. I really like this place. It's just awesome. If you look at the architecture and the maps, it's all upside down. It just looks really cool. It's such an interesting idea. I don't know if any other games have done it. I personally haven't come across it, but then... Another veteran. Seriously, game. You're not helping much here. Okay, I'll just try and Odin. Actually, we'll do Bamut because this thing needs to die. Gotta show off our new summons. These are actually multiple to four, so I'll try level four holy. Come on, Garnet. So if I equipped her with half MP, because that cost a lot, I'm gonna need to check that after this actually. Bamut, full animation. King of Eidolons. But not the strongest summon in the game. Stronger than Ico's strongest, but still not the strongest. You can actually empower it up by crafting them garnets in Dalgaro, but you just have to uh, buy lots of remedies. It's remedy plus ore, I believe, and that makes a garnet. Mega Flare! Boom! I really like this Bamut's design, one of my favourites. That's a fuck all damage. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. See how much level 4 Holy does. 
might be our shelf mode in this, right? Well, that is quite a lot. Blaster, that's not good. That usually is instant kill. Oh no, it stopped her. There we go, dead. Good. And I forgot to check, because I mastered stuff with Freya and I didn't re equip her with shit, so yeah. Let's do that now before I forget. It's Freya we're looking at. Freya. Freya. Come on that. And you can change this around now. And let's go with auto reflect. You can learn that in a while. Uh, no one else is learning it, you may as well. Okay. Give a cute. I have showed off Leviathan, and I'm hundred percent sure I've shown him off, because I remember it. Just hoping we see some different enemies. A bit stale. Okay, here we have two new enemies, a Gargoyle, they have 6,977 HP, level 44, you can learn Mighty Guard from them. You steal High Potions, Tents, Phoenix Pinions and Ethers from them, they're weak to Windstone and Bird Killer. And that thing that's cast at the moment is an Agaris, they are weak to Devil Killer, 6,775 HP, level 43. Tents, Soft and all you can steal from now. Quickest way to deal with these guys, just use a Soft on Agar uh, the Gargoyle and... Let's just go with. Hmm. Let's just attack. Cherry Blossom causes non elemental damage to enemies. Six dragons. I can't remember what that does. I think it randomly kills someone. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look that up. But I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a memory of that, which is odd. It's not very good, I know that much. Cherry Blossom. This attack I love just because I love Cherry Blossoms. You know, Biakia is my favorite character. <laughs> Looks really good. Okay, here we go. Zantazukan. I haven't seen this before. Oh, six dragons. The HP and MP of all party members are randomly reduced to one, completely restored or remain unchanged. So yeah, it's very useless in my opinion. Come on Odin, you can do it. No doubt you'll miss. Oh, you're immune to it. Well, that's unusual. Shut off six dragons, you may as well. Freeze. That's not nice. I should say the Algaris and the Gargoyle will always appear together. Don't kill the Algaris. I think if you kill the Algaris, the Gargoyle wakes up. So always use a soft on the Gargoyle first. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I remember. Six dragons. Let's see what this does. Never going to use it, so we may as well show it off. Well, that was completely useless. <laughs> Mainly because they're all pretty much on 4 HP, but yeah, that's what it does. And that was the names and peace, stupidly low. <laughs> oh well. Oh, that's what I need to check. If, um. What is it? If, if I've got half MP equipped on Garnet, and I have a funny feeling I don't, because them summons are still costing full MP. Half MP, no, I don't, so, um. Get rid of that. I don't want to get rid of Reflect and I'll get rid of Kemp. Uh, actually, we'll keep Kemp. Let's get rid of Body Temp. Don't need that. Yep, that'll do. Right, so now we just need to cure everyone up. Just do a cure again. Two cure Um, uh, Right. It's a goal. 
This castle is actually quite big. You'd be actually very surprised at the size of this place. And it's all very confusing. Right. Um, I think you're supposed to climb up this ladder and then jump off to the left, maybe? Um, hmm. No, I think we no, we definitely jump to the right. The left's a dead end. Yeah, here we get um a broadsword, nice. Okay. And on the left, I believe, is a javelin. I'm just gonna show these off. I mean just going to show them off, just because they're there. You're not really going to want to pick them up. The javelin actually has a use, so yeah, get the javelin. If you haven't got one still, if you sold it off, you need that. Oh my god. Three Tomberries, 7,886 HP, level 46, high potions, Phoenix Downs, Phoenix Pinions, and Aethers from them. Oh my god, we are in some serious shit now. Um, god, they're getting closer. Cherry Blossom's going to show off pretty well here, and they're very awkward level, so I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Let's try a twister. They don't have any weaknesses, that's one of the problems with them. They're moving forwards, one's moving to the left. I love these things, they do such weird stuff. God, Bama only costs 28 MP now, that's pretty cheap. Oh great, you missed. Stop moving! so close. Cherry Blossom, this should help lots. Feel the power of Cherry Blossoms. Fear the Tomberry. Oh, I'm out of MP. Shit. Um. I can't even do white draw, god. Okay, one's dead. They just walk around, they never get you. If they do, you're gonna be in for some world of hurt. Really gone, it's master boost. God, they're still alive, Jesus. Oh no, one is. Okay, we just finish it off now. Ether. Garnet is chemist, I believe I still kept that on. Eight damage and you've got four. I know you have random damage, Queen, but seriously. I'm not sure if the rule actually applies to Queen. No, I killed it. Well, Cherry Blossom came in handy. Fifty for Queen and now Jesus. Right now there'll be a javelin here. Just need to pick that up. Okay, let's just I just want to quickly use some ethers. See I'll use an elixir, we've got plenty of them. But never gonna uh, elixirs are just, just like pretty useless in this game. You can never really have a use for them. I mean, in 5.7, I think you could make Mega Elixirs. No, you could get an infinite supply of Mega, mega Elixirs with them. You used an Elixir on the... Was it the Magic Pots? And they gave you a Mega Elixir? It's been so long since I've played that game. Ooh, HP plus 20%. Nice. Okay, we can just change that around for old Freya now. This castle isn't as big as I make out, but there's quite a lot of hidden things we can do here. Uh, right. What do we want? It was you who mastered it. I, I'm just like so not paying any attention anymore. Just like offer me a little world. If you that, I'll do. Right, um, back down the ladder now. Down we go. Right, now what you want to do is you want to come all the way down here. Run up around here. And get a battle.
Ooh, Cerberus, and we haven't encountered 6,977 HP, level 44. Weak to Beast Killer, you can learn auto life from them, you can steal ores, tents, and evils from them. They are pretty standard. Alright, let's go with that. Fat Mr. Cerberus, we don't use Queen Runa. You can have one of these. Let's use a Leviathan, and. We should do it. Should say Garnet has now mastered all of her white magic, and yeah, well, she hasn't mastered all. She's got it all. Once she's mastered Cure Garnet, her ultimate weapon, she'll have it all. But yeah, I mean, our abilities are coming along brilliantly now, which is awesome. And we'll finish it off with a thousand needles if he lives, but I don't think he will. Oh, this is a full animation one. Looks like I maybe haven't shown the Leviathan before. Or we just got lucky and it appeared. Well, if I haven't shown it, I now have. Owned. Got a lot of um, Aquamarines from that statue in Delgaro. Cherry Blossom Master, nice, which probably means we can change our equipment. Zebra Scarlet, Opal, nice. Can farm lots of stuff to boost your avatars up in here if you wanted to. They all seem to be dropping it. Okay, so I think we're done with the obelisk now. Uh, initiative. Yeah, I couldn't care less, if I'm perfectly honest. Come back for that later. And there's bound to be enough piece of gear that will teach our initiative. And if there's not. In fact, no, there's definitely going to be a piece of gear to teach your initiative. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I'll do that later if I have to. Holy Lance now. Elemental attack. Holy. Nice. Um, let's just go up. Oh, you want to pop off here and just run around and grab a rod, I believe, in this chest. Yep, a rod. Garnet starting weapon. Okie dokie. Now that that's all over, we can head up this ladder here, and we're actually getting quite near the end now. There's still a lot you can do in the castle, but we can't do it yet, which is kind of annoying. Well, actually, I suppose we could. Down here is a little something. Random battle. Okay, here is a little something you can do. Um, it's kind of long-winded, but you've just basically got to keep spamming one option until you get to rest, and it takes a long time. You just have to go through all these options. It's really annoying. So just try everything, and then once you start getting no more options, just spam any one of your choice. I personally think I spam pound. It takes a while, but I think it... I don't think. Maybe spamming think does something. Right, I'll, I'll meet you back here once I get the option. It takes quite a while spamming one option, so be back. Okie dokie. Now we have try something drastic, and yeah, it really is something drastic. I mean, Zidane always does this, so I don't know why he didn't do it right away. I mean, it's probably this is like the third time in the game he's tried something like this, and it took him this long to do it. That was a good, like, three minutes. I spammed all of them a couple of times, then it finally worked. Um, you can kick it, do whatever you want, but all you got to do is rest, and that will get you through. Let's just rest now, and the old classic, just leaning on it, opens it up. <laughs> Whoa, what the? And it unlocks that little staircase down there that you might not be able to see, or you might be able to see, but here you get a little chest, which contains a beret. Barret, I don't even know how you say it. I think it's beret. No, it's not a beret, is it? A beret's a hat. Barret, I don't know. But either way, up there is where we need to go, but we're not going to go up there in this episode. In the next episode, we'll be going up that lift. And hopefully finding Amaron and beating him at his own game. Although, you'll be waiting a day to see it, so he's probably going to get there first. So, see you guys then on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX.